Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, Christian Carter from Radius. This week's video, I uh, got a couple comments um, about last week's video. So this week's video is kind of a follow-up to that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the uh, recent cut in interest rates. More importantly, we're going to go over a quick timeline of how we got here. And then, uh, most importantly, we're going to go over what does this mean for your monthly payment, right? So what does this decrease in interest rates actually mean um, for your monthly mortgage payment. So without further ado, let's get ready. All right, so first up here is 2021, right? Kind of a tough year for all of us, but it was actually a great year for mortgage interest rates. Um, we hit the lowest 30-year fixed mortgage interest rates in history, um, ever since Freddie Mac's been keeping uh, their data. But the reason why we did hit this low was basically the Federal Reserve's reaction to the COVID-19 pandemic, right? So this put this pushed um, the actual, you know, average 30-year fixed rate mortgage down to below 3%, which is absolutely insane. All right, now let's skip forward to 2022, right? This is where the party ended. Um, there was a huge surge in interest rates uh, throughout 2022, right? And we actually saw the highest levels since 2002. This is going to be a little staggering. In January of 2022, the average interest rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage was at 3.22%. Fast forward to October of 2022, the average 30-year fixed rate mortgage interest rate was at 7.08%. That is staggering. 2022 was a very, very tough year uh, for mortgage interest rates. And why was that? Of course, that was because inflation. Inflation was red hot and it was almost impossible uh, to get under control. So the Fed's reaction to that, the Federal Reserve's reaction to that, was to increase the federal funds rate, right? So that's how we got to these really, really high uh, mortgage interest rates in 2022. All right, now let's fast forward to 2023, right? 2023 was going to be our year, right? It was going to be the year that the Federal Reserve was going to start cutting interest rates, and we were going to see mortgage interest rates steadily fall throughout 2023, right? That was the anticipation. Um, however, that did not happen whatsoever. So the anticipation was for mortgage rates to eventually start falling um, throughout 2023, and the opposite happened. Um, they actually gradually increased, which was very frustrating. Here's, a, here's an interesting point, though. In October of 2023, they actually reached a high of 7.8%. And remember that because that's what we're going to use um, for our next example of how uh, the interest rate reductions, how it's going to affect your monthly payment, right? Also, quick caveat here. All these rates that I'm throwing around, um, generally, whenever I'm talking about interest rates, especially 30-year um, fixed rates, I get just about all my rate data uh, from Freddie Mac. So if you're wondering where I got this information, I generally always get anything interest rate related uh, from Freddie Mac. All right, let's get to the good part here, right? What does this mean for your monthly payment? So again, we'll remember that in October of 2023, right, the average 30-year uh, fixed interest rate was at 7.8%. Now on a $500,000 loan amount, right, just talking about principal and interest, that will come out to a monthly payment of $3,599. So that's essentially what your principal and interest payment would be exactly a year from uh, today, because we're in October of 2024. Um, that would be your principal and interest monthly payment, right? Fast forward to present day today, in September of 2024, the average uh, mortgage interest rate, again, 30-year fixed, was at 6.1%, right? Same parameters on a $500,000 loan amount, just principal and interest. That would bring your monthly payment to $3,029. That's a huge, significant decrease, right? It's going to save you uh, about $570 per month just in mortgage payments. And then over the course of a year, it's going to save you $6,840. So when we're talking about this decrease in mortgage rates uh, from where they were a year ago, this is real money. You're actually saving some serious coin per month um, and per year with this drop in interest rates. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all she wrote. I hope you uh, enjoyed this week's video. If you did, I would love it if you can give it a big thumbs up. Uh, also, if you tend to enjoy most of my videos, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. And most importantly, if you have a topic you would like me to cover, mortgage or real estate related, please leave it in the comments below. Other than that, thanks for watching and adios.